What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is Naptown Nerf Thrifting, episode 17. Man, I hope I remember how to do this. It's been a minute. There's reasons why it's been almost two months now since I've done an episode. I really haven't had that much luck, to be honest. I guess maybe my luck is running out. I don't know. But yeah, the Goodwills have been a little vacant. Uh, when I have found things, the prices have been a little higher than I want to pay, especially for things that I've already acquired, so no reason to pay, you know, seven, eight dollars for a Firefly, which I have 10 of. That's kind of silly. But I did find some cool stuff over those two months, and I do have quite a few things to show you. Not all of them came from thrift stores, but uh, they came from online sites like I've talked about before, or even auctions. So have quite a few really awesome blasters, some a bunch of vintage stuff actually. And yeah, very exciting haul. Even though it's not one of my bigger ones, it's one of the better ones. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before I go any further, I just want to thank everybody for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. I'm blown away. I cannot believe that I've made it to 5,000 subscribers. I never thought I would get here when I first started this channel. I didn't really think that people would watch me. I just figured it would be fun to show off my stuff and see if anyone was interested. And I guess people are, so that's really cool. I can't wait to see how much further this channel grows. It's going to be really, really cool. Hopefully we'll continue on with the Naptown Nerf thrifting episodes, as I know they're very, very popular on this channel. Unfortunately, it's becoming a little harder to find things that I uh, really want and for a decent price. And uh, the space that I have to store stuff is becoming very limited. So these may become a little, you know, sporadic, uh, not as consistent every month. But if I find a good haul of stuff worth showing you guys, you know, you'll see it. So uh, don't worry, you will still get Naptown Nerf Thrifting videos. All right, you guys, so I actually made a purchase off of a Facebook group called Nerf Buy, Sell, Trade. If you guys don't know about that group, definitely check it out. I think you guys would all be interested in that if you're watching these videos. So actually, the person I purchased these from was a viewer, which is really cool, and he wanted me to open his package on camera, so I decided to go ahead and throw it in with the uh, episode here, and I thought it was a good place to do so, as these were acquired for a relatively good price so uh, let's go ahead and open his package and see what we got let's go ahead and get into this thing and some of these things i purchased i purchased like four items from him and i think he threw in some extra stuff which is really cool and nice of him so uh one thing he threw in was uh this clear maverick that uh has seen better days obviously it's a little uh not as clear as it used to be and it does not seem to be functioning very well but Nevertheless, it's cool. It's a clear Maverick, and you you know those are always pretty sweet. So, uh, thank you. Let's see here, what else? Got a Sonic Recon stock, which is pretty cool. I did purchase this along with uh, some of the other parts of it. So let's go ahead and see what else we got here. Got the Sonic. Recon tactical light, I guess, and it does have batteries in it and does seem to work, so that's pretty cool. He threw in a retaliator foregrip, so that's nice of him. Pretty cool. Let's see what this is. Oh, a 3D printed foregrip. That is awesome. Thank you so much. That's really cool. I can't wait to put that on a project. I think that is, yeah, um, for a Nerf rail, so that's cool. Very nice. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. That's great. Can't wait to uh, put that on a build. Uh, what else did we get here? Aha! I see what this is. And I did not purchase this guy. Been pretty excited about it because they're a little bit hard to find, but it is a original OG pinpoint sight. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. And I think I did purchase this from him also, if it's what I think it is. And it is one of my favorite attachments, the long strike barrel attachment. So that's really cool. These are kind of difficult to find, and they sell for 
quite insane prices on eBay, so it was nice to get one for a reasonable price. I do have a few of them, but I've used quite a few actually for different builds, and uh, yeah, there's one project that I was hoping to use this for in the future, so that will probably happen now, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, what is next here? Oh, this is the Sonic Barrel for the Recon. So that's pretty cool. Throw that there. Oh, and I believe this is the Blaster. Sweet. So that's the Sonic Recon with the barrel attachment and the stock and the light. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. So I'll have to use that for something fun down the road. I did not have a Sonic Recon, so it was nice to add that to the collection. So, awesome. And this may be another part to that. We'll see here. Oh, this might be another 3D printed thing, actually. Oh, no. Yep, this is the sight to the Sonic Recon. I couldn't remember if that came with it or not, but he did have the sight, so that's really cool. Those are harder to find than any of the parts, I do believe. So it's nice to have the uh, complete thing here. Anyways, the sight was ever, never really made a whole lot of sense to me because up there it is really far forward, and here is where you have to prime the blaster, so the sight often gets lost because of that because there's not a real smart place to put it on the blaster but nevertheless pretty sweet oh yeah what is this this is an elite raven now this has definitely seen better days and i knew that and it also needs a full rewire but he did oh throw in a what i believe to be an ofp flywheel cage which is a group of people that have made cages for virtually every blaster that takes a flywheel cage uh, at least that shoots elite darts i don't think they've gotten too much into like rival or mega or anything like that but that's pretty cool and thank you awesome so yeah this uh has no internals but i thought for the price it was worth getting uh if not to rewire and use up for the elite raven since this is kind of beat up a little bit would not be a horrible thing to cut up and use for an integration. Now, I know that's a little bit bad, but when things are, when it's the paint is messed up and I have other Elite Ravens that are in better condition, I probably would use one of those for a rewire and, you know, a uh, sleeper style uh, blaster anyway. So this is still pretty sweet and uh, we'll see. Who knows what I'll do with it? I haven't really decided yet, but I think that's all. So... Thank you, Nick, for that package. That's really awesome, and I can't wait to put those things to good use. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some of the things I did find in the last couple months. Start out with uh, something super vintage, the Nerf Master Blaster. That name just cracks me up. But this used to shoot the vintage Nerf balls, so that's pretty cool. I have, I think, one of these, one or two of these already. But it was neat to find this one. I uh, thrifted this guy for $4. So not a terrible price, especially for something vintage like this. And it still has its stickers on it, although Goodwill decided to stick their sticker right on top of this sticker. So hopefully I can get that off without damaging it because the stickers are one of the coolest parts to these vintage blasters. So that was a pretty awesome find. All right, moving on. I found a Zombie Strike Crossfire Bow, which is a pretty cool find. It was 2 bucks. It uh, doesn't have the string kind of eaten up front sight there, but I thought it was worth $2, so I went ahead and grabbed it since I, like I said, hadn't been finding very much, so pretty cool. I actually did thrift a Clear Maverick in really good shape. Looks actually close to brand new. Uh, I thought that was pretty awesome and thought it was interesting, though, that uh, whoever owned this had taped and kind of customized this terrible terrible streamlined dart so that was kind of funny and uh gives it a little bit better dart seal i guess and gives it a little more weight up front so probably did shoot a little bit better at least more accurately i'm i'm sure but uh interesting i thought another vintage find 
the Atom Blaster. I found one of these previously, and it's a pretty neat blaster. Uh, let me see. Let me grab a ball here. So it shoots these balls just like the Master Blaster. And you put this right in the front here, and that actually primes it when you load it. And then you can fire. And it does decent, considering the size of this blaster and how it, you know, primes and whatnot. So I thought that was pretty good, except the trigger seems to be tight a little bit stuck there but uh nevertheless pretty cool find i scored a stampede shield which is pretty awesome i actually never thrifted one of these except for when i found the or found the whole new in box stampede on an auction but this is the first one i've actually thrifted quote unquote so pretty cool probably the best shield nerf has ever made to be honest so not a bad find that was two dollars the i've kept i guess i'm forgetting to say the prices of these but uh bear with me i haven't done this for a while <laughs> let's move on found another magnus mega magnus it was two bucks i guess uh seems to be what it was kind of interesting they decided to put that on the priming handle but you know some people don't understand how these things work nevertheless not a bad find for two bucks i have quite a few of these but they are a pretty cool blaster and can be used for many awesome integrations and things like that so sweet another recon barrel these are pretty cool they're great for modifications like maybe an under barrel something like this could be could work for something maybe i don't know but yeah they have a lot of rail space so they're very useful for a lot of integrations and things like that so uh pretty cool find i think this was I don't know. It doesn't have a price tag. I don't know if it came on another blaster or maybe I think I did take this up there. It didn't have a price tag on it and they gave it to me for like a dollar or something. I think that's what the deal was. Hard to remember two months ago, you know, things you kind of forget what what it, what happened. <laughs> Found this guy. I don't know the name of this, but I do know that a lot of people think that this is pretty sweet little pistol. Quote unquote pistol. It primes on the side there. Let's see if I have a dart. I'll throw one in here and see how it does. Just put it right in the front there. And that has some pretty darn good pop. So, yeah, I would say this has some potential. So, yeah, pretty neat little find. It's got some dart storage here. So, cool. That was a dollar. So, you can't really beat that. Found a pink crush. This was also a dollar. All, um, I've, I've always really liked the Rebel line, and uh, the size of this pistol is very small and compact, which is nice. The sleekness of the shell. So I picked these up because they do have quite a bit of modding potential, and they're cool-looking blasters in my opinion, so not bad for a dollar. Found a see-through orange six-clip magazine. It was a buck, but these are kind of rare somewhat but i've found quite a few of them actually thrifting which is kind of interesting to me i think they came in i know they came in the gen urso blaster and they may have come in another blaster before that i'm not 100 percent sure i think maybe the did the hailfire have these i don't know i'm sure i'll get a comment down below if these came in another blaster before the gen urso but nevertheless I thought it was worth a dollar, so I picked it up. Found a 18-round magazine for 70 cents, so I went ahead and grabbed that. These are pretty darn good magazines. This came with a stampede, so it was the original 18-round stick mag, so pretty cool. The original Night Finder, a dollar in, like, almost perfect condition, so I really couldn't pass that up. I'm a sucker for a Night Finder, especially when it's the original in really really good shape so i thought that was definitely worth the dollar so cool find there found a switch shot i'm guessing this was half price because i doubt i would have paid two bucks for this but maybe oh i think i know what happened i think i found this and it didn't have a price tag on it so i threw this on the bottom of here hoping they would give it to me for free and i think they did actually i don't think they charged me for this so that was pretty cool so two dollars for the both of these made sense and obviously this is the vortex nitron scope which is a really really cool scope in my opinion one of my favorites in terms of looks so which is really the only reason to put a scope on a nerf blaster found a dart tag speed load six it was two dollars and i think this is the 
only second one I found like this, and I think the other one was broken or didn't really work all that well. Well, none of them work all that well, but I don't think it it caught all the time or something like that. So anyways, uh, went ahead and grabbed it because these are just really cool looking in my opinion. The Dark Tag line has some really cool looking blasters. Love the handles on them. And so I went ahead and grabbed it for the $2. So pretty cool find there. I found a favorite among the Nerf community and it is the Extreme Blast Zooka, also known the XBZ. So these things have awesome tanks if you they're very easy to mod if you want to just you know take you could take off the shelf you wanted to just snip this off you, i think it fits a dart pretty well just like that and pump it up and it shoots a elite dart really really far with all you have to do is basically cut off the front tip and put a dart in and i think that's about it so pretty sweet um this does work obviously or i probably wouldn't have picked it up but you can see that puts out a pretty good amount of air and uh, definitely a sweet find. I think I paid a dollar for it. You can't really beat a dollar. Found another sweet revenge, which was pretty sweet. <laughs> like I said, the Rebel line, I love. This is definitely one of my favorites in the Rebel line. Very, very cool pistol. Awesome for painting, uh, hider dipping, what have you. So uh, pretty awesome find, and I paid a dollar for it. Scored a fire strike and it was also a dollar. As you can see, most of my finds are only a couple dollars when they're priced way above that. They better be rare or something I highly desire or, or I probably won't pick it up. And a lot of things were actually, like I said, so. But I did grab this because it was a dollar and the fire strike is a pretty cool pistol. So pretty neat find and it did have one of these silly short darts in it, but We'll go ahead and fire it off, and it does fire off. I don't even know if it will yet. This doesn't even really work on this blaster, so I don't know why it was there. doesn't like the uh, AR, or the AR doesn't like the dart, I guess I should say. All right, so the next find is probably one of the best finds that I've had in a long time, in my opinion, because it's something I've been looking for for a very long time. I've wanted it. It's pretty darn rare. And it's probably one of my favorite looking blasters ever made. And hint, it is not a Nerf blaster. It is actually a Koosh Vortex Firestorm. This thing is awesome, guys. And I went ahead and I did not find it with rings, but I have some rings and I've been kind of playing with it around the house for the last few weeks. Uh, because it's just so much fun. And I'll go ahead and fire it off for you guys since I do have some rings in there. Basically, you prime it back like that and push this forward to rotate it around. And then you're able to fire a ring. So that's pretty cool. It is very loud. It doesn't have any sort of air restrictor. And it, it, the way it, it's not really like a dart blaster. It doesn't have the same sort of like plunger or something like that. Uh, the way it fires is just different. So it... Is very loud and it also the only way you can rotate this around is by firing it which is kind of weird and not great but nevertheless we'll go ahead and fire off a couple more since we do have a few more rings in there try not to lose these in the shot here but it is pretty darn fun except you will blow out your eardrum when you fire this thing and it is just loud right there right where your ear is very loud but gorgeous blaster very awesome find and i scored this for this was six dollars so a little pricier than some of my finds but definitely worth six dollars if you guys see one of those out there pick it up if you don't want it let me know i may purchase it from you because these things are sweet not the super easiest to get open from what i understand but i probably will keep this one stock until I find another one and then maybe I'll try to do something fun with it. We'll see. So actually when I found that blaster, this was sitting right next to it. A pretty awesome super soaker. This is the, and it came actually with the strap, which is awesome too, but this is the CPS 2500. I found one of these previously, but it was not working. 
I found other CPS blasters before, but this one's pretty awesome. It does hold air. It's pretty cool. And it takes a lot, a lot of pumps. And it works, but obviously you have to put water in it to make it work, and I'm not going to do that inside. So, nevertheless, pretty awesome find. And this one was $7, but uh, definitely thought it was worth that, considering you can't find super soakers like this anymore. You just can't, so... The best way to find awesome super soakers is to thrift them or find them on eBay or something like that. So, awesome find, I think. All right, so the last item that I technically thrifted was the Enforce Vendetta sword or swords. So, I actually saw, I don't remember which, I think I saw this one. And I was like, well, if they only have one half of it and it's $6, I probably shouldn't get it. And I kept looking, and I found the other half. So both halves for $6 I thought was worth it. So I grabbed it, and they go together like that to become one sword. So that's really cool. I actually do own one of these that I got from Toys R Us. From a, I got it for free because I require, acquired so many points, but they were priced really high and probably not worth that price, to be honest. But definitely worth the $6, and uh, pretty happy to find it in pretty good condition they have been used a little bit but not terrible terrible condition besides a few cuts and scrapes and whatnot the tips are still there so uh, that's pretty cool all right so now we have a haul that I got from a Goodwill auction and I paid $22 for everything you're about to see that is a crazy good deal and I'm very surprised that I got it for that cheap Although they didn't have a great picture online of it, so when people were scrolling through, they probably didn't really realize what it was, what all was in the group. So, you know, I'm kind of thankful for that because uh, I got it for a darn good price. So let's go ahead and show you what I found because I found some really cool stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this guy. And this is a Nerf Airjet Power Plus. Fast Blast, I think is the name, yes. I'm pretty sure that's right. So this is a pretty neat blaster. It is an air-powered blaster. Uh, so basically what you do, let me kind of show you here because it's easier to show than explain with words. And this is actually the first one of these I found. So that was pretty neat. So there we go. And you just pull back and fire. So fires very quickly, although it only holds fire, five darts, and the uh, the air tank mechanism in here actually is what rotates instead of the turret up front. So pretty cool find there, I think. And uh, this, I think, came out in like 99 or 2000, so definitely vintage and uh, definitely an awesome find. A few things that I got this in there. I don't know what this is. This is not Nerf, but this came with it. It's some sort of paintball, like one of those little ball it, it's not really paintball but you know it shoots those little gel balls things uh, but it did seem to have a pretty good spring in it now it doesn't want to work of course oh i think i had the trigger lock on lol <laughs> there we go so definitely has a pretty good spring to it uh so maybe i can strip it and use the spring for something but uh that was definitely uh not one of the blasters that i I didn't actually really know what that was. It was very difficult to see in any of the pictures, but nevertheless, uh, that was in there. This was also in there, the original rip saw, and you can see that this has been uh, like rained on or you know shot with a super soaker or something, and it's got dirt like sand and mud or something. It looks more like sand to me, all over it. So a lot of these blasters are not necessarily in the best condition, but Considering what I condition I expected them to be in as, after seeing kind of the picture of this blaster and some of the others with spots on it, all of them are in much better condition than I expected. This is also not one of the blasters I necessarily wanted, but uh, it was in the, in the group. And uh, I think this is actually the first flywheel blaster, sort of. <laughs> Another sweet find is the Supermax 1500. I think I have one, maybe two of these. Uh, these are definitely really cool blasters. Uh, you pump it up and then it will 
shoot a dart. This is a Laramie branded blaster, so I actually don't have any of the Laramie darts. I have like every other Nerf ammo except for the Laramie darts, but um, you can easily rebear list to shoot elites. Many people have, and they can be pretty powerful blasters when modded correctly. So that was a pretty darn good find. Maybe one day I'll find the Super Max 5000. Please, please let me find it. Uh, that is a very rare blaster, and maybe one day you'll see that on this channel. Let's only hope. <laughs> I found, or I received, some vintage ammo in this lot, which was pretty cool because I actually didn't thrift anything that shot arrows, which was interesting, but uh, this was in there, and I thought that this specific one was very interesting, and maybe some of my viewers can fill me in because I've never seen, I think this may be the original Big Bad Bow Arrow, but it has a rubber thing on the front and it has the Nerf logo on there and I don't remember that ever seeing, uh, you know, one of these arrows with that on there. So I'm curious what that uh, came with um, because I didn't think the Big Bad Bow Arrows had that. I thought it was similar to this. So maybe someone can fill me in on what that is from, but yeah, cool. Vintage arrows are kind of hard to come by also, so uh, that's definitely a cool uh, get. And uh, they all seem to have their fins on them, so that's also a good thing. Another one in the lot, the Nerf Balzuka. And I think I had one of these maybe in the last episode or episode or two episodes ago. And uh, this will be the second one I've received through thrifting and whatnot. So pretty cool find. I believe it works. I don't know if I've tested this one out. But it has one ball in there. There we go. So it does work. Pretty cool. Neat blaster. Very creaky, but you know, it still has its stickers on it, which I don't think my last one did. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome find. I got another Max Force blaster and this is the uh, Razor Back or Razor Beast, I believe. And it's supposed to have a chain. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the chain, which kind of sucks. And it's a very weird blaster and you crank this and it doesn't sound so great yeah that doesn't sound so good and it's kind of awkward to hold it doesn't have a trigger i'm like i think maybe you do it like this so you hold it against your shoulder and then you rotate this to fire but uh nevertheless it's very cool looking uh definitely a sweet looking blaster and we'll add it to my max force line and hopefully one day i'll collect them all because it is one of my favorite lines actually so that's pretty cool i got one Tornado X2, two Tornado X2s, and I did not have these before, so that's really cool. They shoot the rings just like the Firestorm did, uh, although this one just shoots one at a time, just like the original Tornado. You put it on there, and you pull back this just like a Nightfinder and fire. This one seems to work well. This one trigger has some junk in it, so this one may need some maintenance but probably will work also. So that's pretty neat, uh, pretty cool find, and maybe I'll use one of these for an integration. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. I found another tornado, guys. Uh, pretty awesome, and as you can see there, I got it from the, uh, the Goodwill auction, so that's pretty sweet. And yeah, I mean, this is basically worth $22 by itself, in my opinion, so pretty awesome it's still got some rain spots on it just like the other one but does work i'll go ahead and grab one of those rings and fire this guy off too all right so yeah it shoots uh these rings uh, i don't know if you could see those very clearly before but that's what it shoots they're a little thicker on one side and thinner on the other and you'll load it just like this and then you will pull back on this guy and then you should be able to fire it there you go so that's pretty cool Definitely a sweet shell. I, If you guys haven't seen, I uh, used this for an integration called the Blue Stinger uh, because I thought it looked like a bee, which in my opinion it does. This part back here definitely looks like the back part of the bee and this kind of, the stock kind of even looks like wings a little bit. Very, very comfortable shell. Definitely probably the most comfortable shell that I've ever held that I can think of. Definitely one of them. Definitely really unique looking and uh, one of my favorite blasters. So. Uh, definitely always an awesome find when I'm able to pick up a Vortex Tornado, so that's pretty sweet. And last, and but certainly not least, is the Hypersight 
expandable ast. This thing has a humongous, humongous plunger tube in it. Uh, I know a lot of people use these for NIC blasters back in the day. It's uh, reasonably sought after, pretty darn rare. And they call it the expand blast because when you pull down on this, it expands. So that's pretty neat. It is just a single shot blaster, but it has a, a function there that obviously expands it into like a rifle, I guess, sort of. But not super practical, Not the definitely not a great blaster in terms of that because, uh, let me do it one more time. This, not a very good stock. Like, I don't even know why that is there. It's pointless. And then, I guess I gotta close that first. And then this part just creates a ton of dead space and really doesn't allow the blaster to get very good performance. Uh, not that it gets great performance shut, but uh, better performance shut than it does expanded, which kind of goes against the rifle you know, aspect. You go from a pistol or a rifle, you're supposed to get better range, right? Not nerf, guys. Not nerf. So we'll go ahead and take a shot with this. It does shoot the vintage Megas there. So, you know, that's pretty terrible range. Obviously, this has been around the block a few times, so probably not performing as well as it used to. But uh, nevertheless, uh, definitely a cool find. Uh, it's got that awesome grip, sort of. I mean, it's a, a decent grip, but it's uh, definitely like the big bag big bad bow grip or the lock and load grip so that's pretty cool definitely a neat find and uh my first uh expanded blast so that's pretty pretty awesome so i got all 10 of those blasters and the uh arrows for 22 dollars. so there's lots of ways to find good deals on blasters like i said thrifting at the goodwill stores have has not really uh, been great luck for me lately and is a lot more time consuming than obviously shopping online so uh, you know depending on your area if you can't find things online or can't find things in store check online um, check your garage sales I don't do a lot of garage selling but that's another thing that I might get into if I decide I want to try to acquire more awesome stuff like this uh, but you just kind of have to keep an eye out and uh, hopefully you'll come across some cool stuff so Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate your viewership. I greatly appreciate how much you guys love this specific episode. I hope I can continue to bring more thrifting episodes to you and uh, hopefully more often than every two months. But if that's what it is, that's what it is. And as long as I'm getting cool stuff like this, uh, hopefully that'll be okay because I'm probably not going to pick up things that aren't pretty darn cool, uh, at least at this point. So. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Smash that like button. Please subscribe. And as always, peace out.